What's going on guys? Bobby with Consumer Time Capsule back with another review for you here and today we're at the capsule to talk to you about all five varieties of the new Coke with Coffee line of beverages. $1.88 each at Walmart. We only have three flavors here but two of them are going to be zero sugar as additions. So there's five total. Caramel only gets one inclusion in the line, <laughs> whereas vanilla and dark blend end up getting also a zero sugar. So a fully sugared and a zero sugar version. These have 69 milligrams of caffeine per slim can. I believe the cans are 12 ounces. They are. Not bad for a little pick-me-up, strong for a soda, maybe a little light for a coffee, but I think this is more of a novelty than anything else. I'm very excited. <laughs> Let's get started yeah. with the three sugar-based varieties. Okay. So just to clarify what you're saving yourself, so it's 18 grams of sugar, which is pretty low for a Coke yeah. uh, product, and 70 grams of calories. Uh, it's zero calories for the okay. coffee. So most of, most of what you're saving is really the calorie. 18 grams of sugar? That's not that many. That's not that many. No. I mean, they're all going to look like Coke. I mean, I wish I could wow you with what's inside the can here, but mm. smells like cola uh, and mm. certainly looks like cola. Highly carbonated. That's a heady pour right there. Cheers. Cheers. So this is the dark blend that we're starting with. I personally like dark, just straight black coffee. Now, remember, we might be deferring to your opinion here today, Ryan, because the more it tastes like coffee, the less qualified I am to judge these because I'm... Coffee and mayonnaise are two things that are my weaknesses as a food reviewer. Damn. I'm tasting a good balance of both flavors, and actually it's Perfect making... Balance. Okay, so here is what coffee is lacking for me. Coca-Cola flavor. <laughs> <laughs> so... I might actually I be. Spat this out. I, I might be the target audience on this one. Mm. I was confused who the target audience was on this, and it turns out it was me. And I didn't mean just from a gimmick perspective. Mm. It's got a nice coffee kind mm. of roasty finish. It has a roasty coffee finish, but the problem with coffee for me is it's too hot. It always feels like my mouth is burning. And I know there's, okay, there's iced coffee. I get it. Don't put that in the YouTube comments. <laughs> but most coffee is hot and it's too hot and I don't like it. Also with Coke, it, it's too syrupy. Like it almost feels like you're like drinking a syrup in the, like the thinness of the coffee is kind of cutting through it being too syrupy. Totally. You still get enough of the Coca-Cola flavor without an overwhelming amount of sugar. There's 18 grams of sugar. I mean, in these three cans, there's gonna be less than one 12 ounce cans of, can of Coke, I think. Yeah. Or in the ballpark at the very least. Wow, outstanding That's start. And my, my hypothesis was the vanilla was probably gonna be the, the one to bet on here, the with sugar vanilla, because there is also a zero sugar vanilla. More of a coffee flavor in this one, which is funny because the other one is dark. It's a little creamy. I don't taste much Coca-Cola at all at all. I like um, this more than Coca-Cola. If this was a cola right. and it didn't even talk about coffee, I would like this. Okay, I like it, I like it less than a Coca-Cola, mm -hmm. whereas I liked the dark blend exponentially more than a Coca-Cola. Okay. We're gonna bust out the Bud uh, Bowl 10 for the final uh, sugar-based flavor. I'm I see. Feeling the, I'm feeling the caffeine. I am too. I'm yeah. buzzing a little bit. That's not too bad. Could use that at this phase of the reviewing process. Look at that pour. That's a beauty. That, I mean, that's so pretty. It should have been born a little girl right there. <laughs> All right. Cheers, man. Yeah. One more with sugar, and then we're on a diet. Whoa. Mm. Boy, this one is interesting. It's like a medium roast. It is exactly like a medium <laughs> coffee. It really yeah. is. Like, Not a burny finish, but a 
more coffee taste than I think even more the coffee tea. than either of the other ones. Yeah. More coffee taste, but it doesn't have that coffee bitterness. Yeah. The fact that the cola is in there and the added sugar is in there. I don't mm. taste it specifically as caramel, mm. but I do taste it as just like just sugar, right? Yeah. Um yeah. It Okay, so what I don't like about coffee is it just tastes like bitter hot liquid burning my mouth. <laughs> and this is not bit none of the three are bitter. So it's cutting out the bitterness. So if what you like about coffee, like my dad, for example, he wants it just bitter. <laughs> Rachel wants it just bitter. But like, man, uh I could drink coffee if it tasted like this. Yeah. I really could. Yeah. Pretty pretty tasty. I've now that said, Ryan, we we do have we do have a test to do now. Mm. We have two zero sugar versions of flavors that we've already had. Yeah. So I'm actually going to redo this here. Okay. I want to do the vanilla one first because the vanilla one I really thought was a swing in the mi mm. and a miss on the on the sugared one and you thought it was good. So I wonder if this is going to sway either of us mm -hmm. in terms of what vanilla coke with coffee is all about okay. there we go cheers. cheers let's see whoa yikes so heavy vanilla it's right? so much wait but like the other one had a lot of vanilla this one is like it's not like a milkshake no, seriously <laughs> It does have that thin, empty feeling of a diet soda. Like a it's diet less diet fulfilling, diet. especially back yeah. to back. Yeah. I know people really swear by zero sugar Coke, like Coke Zero Sugar. It used yeah. to be called Coke Zero. I'm less in that camp. I do like some of those diet Cokes that we reviewed very early on, mm -hmm. um, like the flavored ones when they came out in the Slim Cans, but. Diet Coke and Zero Sugar, for some reason, are different. They're like different formulas. Diet Coke tastes like Diet Coke, but yeah. Coke Zero Sugar is like... Tastes like Coke with something missing. Thin Coke. Yes. Yeah, thin Coca-Cola. Personally, I drink a lot of Cherry Coke Zero. Okay. Usually I combine it with some wine, but... There you go. Cherry no Coke problem with that. Good. All right, so... Look, Dark, Dark Blend was really something special when it got us started here, but... If they can accomplish that with zero sugar, then I would be extremely impressed. However, after the last round, really all I tasted in that was vanilla. I didn't taste Coke or coffee. The, I mean, this one, it tastes like both. I don't know how that happened, but now I taste Coke and I taste coffee. It still has an issue with thinness. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, it gives you a new appreciation for yeah. for this deal. It's got more body. It's it's all body. Yeah. This one is like the main event is really even the body over the taste almost. <laughs> um, this does come off a little thin, but extremely impressive. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know what you do when you can't use sugar to make something taste delicious like this, and it does. Angel dust. Is that what angel dust is? <laughs> it's in Coke Zero. <laughs> oh, I love angel like dust. King was on. <laughs> All right, gimmick grade. This was a lot of fun, right? That's I gotta so say, great. I haven't had this much fun filming a review in a very long time. I think part of that was just like, you know, pre-vaccinated -vac filming is also not that fun. So, uh, but... This was really a pleasure, Ryan. I gotta tell you, this was this was a lot of fun, and it's kind of helping with the gimmick for me. I like it that, look, here's what happens. We're gonna get into the From the Archives in a little bit, but Coca-Cola Black was basically just this, mm -hmm. right? This time they said, screw that, we're rebranding it, we're gonna put it in nice slim cans, we're gonna have a line of five of them, there's gonna be some with zero sugar, some with sugar. Great execution, great rollout in the day that it came out. I found it at Walmart, the, the day. So just well done all together. I can give it a nine out of 10 gimmick grade. Uh, very impressed with the gimmick. That's just the gimmick. That's gonna get us into the capsule countdown. Let's pause. Let's pause. 
So Ryan and I just consulted and we actually agreed on all five of our rankings here. So really, really impressive outing just in general. I gotta applaud Coke on that from a taste perspective. Even just talking beyond the gimmick, just taste exceeded both of our expectations. We like so We different like different things. things in this regard. You know, we agree on so many different things that we review as baselines. And this is one where it's just we're just on totally different stratospheres and had basically identical opinions, which was which really makes this feel like more of an objective practice and less subjective. <laughs> when like we're analyzing these flavors and we really are seeing eye to eye. Look, fifth place is the regular sugared vanilla flavor. It was the least balanced of the of the flavors just in general. The only advantage was it did have the kind of regular Coke body, but Ryan, you could barely taste the coffee, mm -hmm. but I could taste the coffee. And I it was very unusual. That. I can't really explain that about it. But one thing is one thing is for sure. If you're looking for a vanilla Coke with coffee flavor, this is the only thing that kind of misses the mark of like all of the flavors that it proclaims. But I still think it's okay. I could still drink it, like, as a drink. So, four and a half out of ten. Fifth place on today's Caps Countdown. It's zero sugar counterpart. The vanilla zero sugar is going to get fourth place. It, it had a more balanced flavor. But then it had the thinness that comes with eliminating the sugar. So, kind of, I don't know, if you mix these together in a cocktail, maybe everything would be perfect. Maybe everything would be terrible. I'm not real sure, but... These two are both not really doing it for me. I'm going to give this one a 5 out of 10, fourth place on today's Capsule Countdown. But that's that's it. We're ripping the Band-Aid off of the bad news <laughs> because the Zero Sugar Dark Blend that's getting third place did a pretty darn good job. Ryan, you love Zero Sugar Dark Blend coffees, and uh, this really seemed to be hitting the spot for you. For me, it's like I found a, a zero sugar coffee type drink that I actually enjoy. It's kind of a miracle. So I'm going to give it a seven out of 10, third place on today's Capsule Countdown. Very solid offering from the folks at Coke. Yeah, I'm going to challenge yeah. that. Okay, what are you going to bump that up a little bit? What are we boosting it up to? We got the wet bandits in play <laughs> here. So what are you doing? Are you doing a seven and a half now? Seven and a half. All right, yeah. seven and a half. Solid, solid outing for a third place competitor. Mm -hmm. Look, the, the caramel version is, is really delicious and it's totally unique. I know that it's the only one that bears caramel on the label. It's a totally unique flavor in, in this mix. I think it's the most soda intensive, like the most cola intensive flavor. The one thing I'll say is I really didn't taste caramel specifically, mm -hmm. but it just made it taste different. It had a it it's had a sweetened. unique sweetness to yeah. it. You want to talk about a a something that says coffee on its label that isn't bitter? This is the least bitter coffee product ever created and um, really deserves to be commended for that. Eight out of ten. Second place on today's capsule countdown. But we started with a product that was just about flawless. I mean, this dark blend, Coca-Cola with coffee, if you would have told me how much I was going to love this, I wouldn't have believed it. I mean, that is, that is tasty. You taste a good amount of Coke, but it eliminates what I really don't like about Coke, that extra syrupiness. Eliminates pretty much all of the bitterness from the coffee, but that coffee flavor is there. You know, I like the smell of coffee but I don't like anything about drinking coffee. It almost is, it almost like kind of draws me in almost like from an aromatic <laughs> perspective and not so much like I'm drinking coffee, like I'm consuming coffee. So probably the best coffee oriented product that I've ever tasted in my entire life. Oh. Um, I don't think I can go all the way to the edge with 10, but I'm giving it a nine and a half in first place on today's capsule countdown. You want to talk about an expectation exceeding review. This was it. The from the archives today, I'm going the predictable route. I'm sorry. And I may have even used this on a from the archives many months ago. I don't know. I don't log those things, but you guys can let me know if I have, but it's going to, it's got to be the 2006 Coca-Cola black.
So Coca-Cola Black was a four pack of eight ounce Coca-Cola bottles. It's a carbonated fusion beverage of Coca-Cola and dark blend coffee. Sounds a little familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> like the nine and a half product that we just reviewed. When I was a senior in college, my roommate, Nathan, would buy these four packs, I don't know, 10 a week? Like that's how he survived. And I remember we just had this giant stockpile of them and I grabbed four and washed them out and saved them. And he was like, you should save more of these. They, they This is going to go away. And I, I should have because <laughs> they did go away. They went away very shortly thereafter. Um, so this would have been from 2006. But um, just to... I think a, I remember trying that. See, I, I didn't drink soda at the time. And I, I really just didn't mess around with caffeine at all at the time. Which is kind of ironic looking back at it. But <laughs> when I used to be stu up until 2 o'clock in the morning studying for exams and stuff, I didn't do caffeine. And now that I review food, <laughs> I, I, I just hook it straight to my veins. We do have a, a little bit of a coffee tie-in to the next one. It's three new flavors of Oreos. We have Java Chip, Chocolate Hazelnut, and Brookio. So stay tuned on Monday for that. And of course, until next time, I will miss you until I see you. Go out and get some of this uh, Coca-Cola with coffee. It's, it's good stuff.